What's up you guys? So today I am out and about per my last video, kind of just exploring Denver at different times of the day and also using this as a challenge uh, to challenge myself just as a creative person, um, as a street photographer, getting out when I'm like not comfortable, getting out when the light is not at its best and just kind of testing out and testing the waters and just seeing what else is around. Exploring different streets outside of 16th Street Mall. Um, just doing a bit of roaming around today. So just gonna explore a few more streets, see what I can find. Let's get to it. So one thing I really like about being um, out at different times is the different types of people. So during the day, there's a lot more like business people out going to lunch. It was extremely hard to find a place to park and whatnot, but it's just fun to see a different crowd than your usual, you know, kind of three to five, 6 p.m. crowd. Um, like I said in my last video, again, just looks like a different kind of just breed, not breed of people, um, but a lot more interesting in terms of just what's, what's there to shoot, how people look, how they kind of act in the streets opposed to what you normally see. Um, so that's really fun to kind of like challenge myself is to um, just shoot a different crowd of people opposed to what I'm used to. So getting out of that comfort zone and then the other thing is just I don't do there's not too many people out because they're at work so doing things like shooting um, more architectural street photography is fun because um, yeah it's just something different again to look at um, and then you have different lighting that's also a challenge with that it's harsh lighting but there are areas where there's just good shadow and light as well. So that's fun to explore and to mess around with. So yeah, let's go continue, explore some, find some more new streets. the milk market right now this is an alley I really wish there was more of this here in Denver um, because there's a lot of alleys between all the buildings here but not much going on between the alleys it's just used for dumping for you know the different buildings and stuff around um, but this one's really interesting because there's just people around here sometimes they'll have like shops you can shop at and just different crowds of people so I'll show you guys a bit of what it looks like So if you've ever been to Denver, you know that like outside of 16th Street, it's not like super busy in terms of the other streets, um, 16th and usually somewhere like Union Station is really busy. Um, and so it's a bit of a challenge when you kind of are walking, empty your sidewalks and you want to take pictures of people because it's just like extremely obvious at that point and there's nowhere to kind of just run and hide. <laughs> but that's where like this Fuji is kind of coming in clutch um, because I can hold it at a waist level. It has the leaf shutter, so it's extremely silent. And um, sorry for the exposure here. Uh, you can just be stealthy <laughs> and sneaky um, like this photo here that I see.
I will tell you one thing I don't like is the modernization of or like the gentrification I guess of a lot of buildings down here um, it kind of just takes away from just the inspiration of wanting to shoot something uh, modern borings to me are just modern buildings to me are extremely boring whereas the more old-fashioned stuff is a lot more fun to shoot and kind of just like explore around and it's a uh, mainly in the rhino district but they'll let like artists paint over a lot of the older buildings and stuff or just display their kind of graffiti and stuff around the city and you get a bit of that downtown but for the most part a lot of things are just windows which give you nice reflections so those are fun to shoot um but other than that just the plainness of the modern stuff i don't like pro street photography tip free water at starbucks it's actually not even a pro tip if you just know starbucks you can get some free water there because as you can see it's hot um and i'm getting blacker by the second and i need to buy more lights for my videos <laughs> but it's just so hot it's like 90 something degrees out here right now i will say though one thing i love about 16th street at this time and I'm trying to avoid it because it's easier to shoot than this other stuff. I feel like I'm not capturing anything today, which is okay. It's just getting out there and changing up your perspective a little bit. But uh, the light right now is just going straight down it where you don't get that uh, in those later times because it's going, what is that? East to west or north to south. I don't know my directions, but um, yeah, the light's just so freaking good and I'm missing out on all of it. So, huh, one more street, then I might cross back 16th Street on the way back to my car. head back home here but the lessons learned today is that I kind of like the way this looks right here with this guy's face in that window um but the lessons learned today are that it's hot <laughs> no not that but the light you get much more light to kind of practice and play with getting out of your comfort zone is a good warm-up for your comfort zone and just you get good light depending kind of just like where you are, um, street you're on, and yeah, just more fun crowds to kind of interact with and whatnot. So it's really hot, it's like 90 degrees. This is a good way to start my morning though. I do wish that I lived downtown so that I could, it's really loud right here. I do wish that I lived downtown so that I had more streets. I mean, so I can be out here more often and just like shoot stuff, but I don't. Um, but you know having that contrast of just being away from here and that's a good idea too. just get away from where you're used to shooting in general um, much more interesting things to shoot all right guys it is hot <laughs> this is it this is official I'm wrapping it up closing shop I'm going home thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and check out some of my other videos full transparency here I'm about to hit my freaking 4,000 watch hours that it takes to be able to monetize this freaking channel um, because if you haven't done like any type of YouTube video or just I consider this just like my work my artwork part of just like my whole journey um, and yeah making money off of all this is extremely uh, hard to do and um, especially through YouTube so definitely check out um, my other videos every single photo you saw in this video 
was graded with my EGTV um, presets, Lightroom presets. So definitely check those out. They're on sale right now, so feel free to purchase them. Um, it's just another way to support me. And honestly, just watching my videos is a huge way to support me. Uh, so thank you all. I also just recently bought this bag. I was kind of walking around with this today. This is the Peak Design uh, pouch or something. Uh, I'm probably getting the name right wrong. But um, I love this thing so far. I'm obsessed with bags. I really love Peak Designs stuff. Um, I can fit my Fuji in here kind of casually and just walk around and shoot with a nice small bag to kind of just go about and do some street photography with. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this bag probably in another What's In My Bag video here soon. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'm probably like sweating profusely right now. And uh, catch you guys in the next one. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me show you one more thing. I don't think I showed you guys this yet. I keep saying I'm gonna wrap up the video. Look how beautiful this baby is. Yes, it's the X100V. Oh my God. Yeah, this is what I was shooting with today. I may like talk about this in another video as well soon, so subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'll shut up now. Peace.